What kind of medication? Prozac. What? Prozac. No, I heard you the first time. Why the hell do you want to give me Prozac? It'll stabilize your mood, make you feel better. Well, how's it going to do that? It prevents the reuptake of serotonin in your brain, so serotonin levels rise, and that tends to stabilize mood. That's oh, how that works. for Christ's sakes. Nothing could be easy with you shrinks, can it? Look, uh, You know what? People come in here and they spend, what, $200 thinking that you're going to unlock some superpower in their souls so they can go home and fuck their wives better, or discover some new courage to finally admit to themselves that they're gay. Or maybe, how about this one? Stop draining their husband's bank account based on the fact that they think that he's fucking probably one of your other clients. And what do you do? You prescribe them some pills? Ha! Huh. You know what that's called? That's called a racket. I beg your pardon. No, I should be begging you for 200 bucks back. Christ on a cross. Thank God there's no problems with my, you know, Lord knows what kind of pills you'd want to give me for that. Mr. Rowe. Mickey. Mickey. I have asked you numerous times what it is you do for a living that's causing so much of this anxiety. I already told you. You told me that you occasionally transport things. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Something like what? You know, I take things from one place to the next. I protect stuff. You protect stuff? Sure. Huh. G give me an example. I, I can't do that. Why not? Doc, you can't ask me questions. That is my job. No, apparently your job is prescribing people crazy pills. Not crazy pills. They are crazy pills, okay? And I'm not crazy. Mr. Um, Mickey, answer me this. At least this. Do you have a stressful job? <laughs> sure. All right. Now enlighten me. <sighs> what is it about that job that is so stressful? Some jobs just seem to be a little bit harder. That's all. Like this last one, for instance. Stay low. Stay low behind me, okay? <laughs> down, get down! Get down! <laughs> Listen to me, hey, listen. On the count of three, you're gonna get behind me, all right? On three. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Let's go, move, 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 move. Stay low, stay low. Down, 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 down. Breathe, breathe. You're gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be fine. Hey, asshole! I didn't want to take this fucking job to begin with. Man, I don't even like these goddamn people. I got a deal for you. I keep the girl. You go home alive. How about that? Sounds like a good deal, doesn't it? Fuck your deal! Look, man, just give me the girl, and you can go on your merry way. No! Wait. Don't move, okay? You understand what I'm telling you? Stay there. Asshole! Drop the gun. Gun. <gasps> Come here. Yeah, do it. Mickey. What? 
you were going to tell me about that last job you did and how hard it was for you. <sighs> Sorry, Doc. It's... Job ain't what it used to be. You know, age has an effect on all of us. Who said anything about age? I was just trying to make like... You know, a guy like me comes in here, you just reiterate the same shit that comes out of my mouth. Some profession you got. Excuse me. Oh, look, here. A master's degree in bullshit. Excuse me. More bullshit. That's horseshit. Feel better? You're lucky I'm not a depressed son of a bitch. I just might have thought of taking a header off a goddamn skyscraper or played leapfrog into oncoming traffic. I hope you're not telling me you have a plan to hurt yourself. But I will tell you this, at very least, you have an anger problem. Why would you say that? You have a very, very short fuse. Short fuse? What is that, some type of analogy? You know what, Doc? This psychotherapy shit, it ain't working. Psychiatry. Whatever. Do you want the medication or not? Screw the pills. I don't know what your job is, but it's having a terrible effect on your psyche and your body, and it could just kill you. Mr. Rome, how good it is to see you again. No need for the meet and greet, Chloe. Mr. Riser will be with you shortly. Deacon's in the other room. I do believe you know him. I do know who he is, and I don't need an introduction. Thank you very much. Deacon, how the hell are you doing, buddy? Hey! Still tracking the numbers. And still getting interrupted by you, Rome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any idea why Carl wants me here? Wait, before you answer that, how those hands doing? You beat information out of anybody lately? I'm sure it's something very important to the agents. Oh, I'm sure. We do give you the tough jobs. Yeah. Never seen you with your head so low, Mick. I had a rough week, pal. Yeah, well, nobody said this job was easy. Hell, nobody in this business wants to work, but somebody's got to do it. Yeah, I guess you're right. Speaking of which, where is that little shit, Polly? You got him working around here somewhere sweeping up trash? Because I haven't seen that asshole in a hot minute. Wait, please tell me that you finally fired him. Nah, Carl's got him working on a different gig. This guy's built like a brick house, but he got brains like an outhouse. Plus, every time I think of him, the word prick comes up in my mind. Yeah, you never did like him much. You don't like him either. Raza will have you both on a job real soon, I'm sure of it. You're both really good at your individual assets. Don't put your money on me working with that creeper. How's he looking these days? <laughs> He's wearing his mustache just like Riser. Get the hell out of here, son of a bitch. Mr. Rome, Mr. Riser, we'll see you now. One more thing, Deacon. This business front you got going on? Your secretaries are strippers. They're referred to as dancers, Mickey. Whatever makes you sleep better at night, pal. And I have never shaken my ass for dollar bills. And I shave my head because it's aerodynamic. See you, Dick. How you doing, Polly? Oh, my goodness, Mickey. I'm doing amazing. Yeah, doesn't look like it. Doesn't? No, you look like shit. So crazy because I am so crisp. I knew like you're a hundred. Don't touch. Don't okay. touch. Okay. Yeah, right. you got it. How's it work? Works fine. It is. Yeah. Seems like you have a tough time. I hate your guts. Okay, good. You like herpes. You go away, but then you come back. God damn. God, you look old as fuck. <laughs> hey. How are you? Sorry, I'm not. Shaking hands, just a little wet. Look at this. See that? Chloe, I appreciate your authenticity, but can you get me a real fucking chair, please? We clear 100 grand a month. My office is a porno set, basically. Price of running a front. Glamorous. 
So, um, what's going on? Last one was a tough one? Ain't they all? I mean, you saved her, didn't you? Saved her life. She's got you to thank for that. Well, that's my job, right? You tell me what to do, and then I go and try and make that happen? No, you don't try. You succeed. You're the best specialist I have. No, I mean, you got a perfect track record. You, you run protection like nobody else. Yeah, well, it wasn't easy. But this last one... It got to your head? No, she could have died. Well, they all could have died. That's the name no, of the no, game. No, look, this one was different. Okay, she's young. She has a whole life ahead of her. And for what? Because her daddy saw something that he wasn't supposed to, now she becomes the target? <laughs> this fucking world that we live in, man. Look, Carl, that's it. It's over. I'm done. No, oh, I know. I heard you put in for retirement. I can't live with myself if someone dies on my watch. It's not in me. Well, you got a lot to retire on. Yeah? Yeah. You got bonds, CDs, you got treasuries, not to mention the cash. What you gonna do? I don't know. Move somewhere with palm trees, white sand beaches. Drink one of them fruity drinks out of those coconuts with the umbrella sticking out of it. I don't know, maybe I can do that. Well, that sounds like paradise. I got one more for you. No, just Carl, one, just come one. on. Please, no, just one. Carl, just come one. on. No, one. listen, hey, I just, I can't. I can't. You can drink all the fruity drinks you want after. Please. What is it? Husband and wife. Husband was an accountant for the Fratelli family. Oh, God, I know. Stole eight is, million no. dollars. And he bailed with the wife. Where's the agency on this? They want to turn state's evidence. Came to me for protection while the FBI sorts out its shit. And where'd you put them? Safe house, Central America. Central America? Yeah. Where they had you with chainsaws and shit? Don't they send your head back to your mother yeah, and then put your body up in Mexico. telephone wires? Not, you're I'm thinking Mexico. No, not, it's not Mexico. Is, they got cockroaches the size of squirrels down what there. What the fuck are you and talking snakes? about? Goddamn snakes. <laughs> you ever watch that National Geographic channel? It's Costa they got those Rica poisonous and Columbia, arrow you thingies. banana. Send Paulie Walnuts down there. He likes crocodiles, gloom, and death. They got palm trees. Don't you get out of my office. All right, your flight leaves in the morning. How easy you say this job is going to be? Easy, easy peasy. No one knows where they're at, and the safe house is equipped with all the necessities you're going to need for proper protection. Big house? Big, big enough. Pool? Yeah, they got a pool. They got a pool. You, with, with a view of the sea. You got a pool and the sea. You can see the sea. I got boots on the ground over there? You got an assistant who'll take care of everything. Clean water? Jesus Christ, you got ADD, you know? You got ADD and you're neurotic. What are these two cats like? The, who? The husband and wife? No, Laurel and Hardy. The husband is uh, scared and the wife is a pain in the ass. She's a wife. What? Look, all you gotta do, sit on them, have a whiskey, put a fucking umbrella in your whiskey, and wait till we come down after everything blows over. It's the last job, Carl. Adios, amigo. Gracias. Thank you for flying. Buenos dias. Chloe! in the street, do they? Nobody gives a crap about anything in this town. Look at this. There's a lot of trees. You get snakes so they hide in these trees. Look at this guy. Look at that. Look at you. No helmet. Safety first. You got poisonous snakes or just regular snakes? Listen, I got two words for you, okay? Air freshener. Use it. it smells like a goddamn zoo in here. Welcome, Mr. 
to Rome. My name is Lori Williams. I'm the liaison in charge of this location and whatever else you might need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. Wonderful. It is a real pleasure to have you here, sir. I've heard quite a bit about you. Listen, lady, cut the horse shit, okay? Just show me where the goods are and introduce me to Tweedledee and Tweedledum so I can get this last nightmare over with. Oh, last? Did I stutter? All right, then. Right this way. Damn waitress. Spare no expense, huh? What's the layout like? The house has 10 bedrooms, a game room, a sauna, pool, hot tub, and is four stories in height. It's not the best place for one man to hold down the fort now, is it? About that. Lock here with three clips, smooth action, well-oiled. One gun ain't gonna make a difference. There's a 12-gauge sawed-off shotgun in the closet for when matters need to be dealt with at close range. Anything within 10 feet, you'll be washing right out of your clothes for weeks to come. There rounds in there too? Plenty. There's a bat in the closet near the front door as well as some golf clubs. There's also a toolbox out by the pool shed with plenty of screwdrivers and a hammer, but that's rather medieval if I do say so myself. Oh, so I guess when we're talking about killing people, there are different levels of how brutal one can be while trying to stay alive, right? Is that sarcasm, Mr. Rome? Never. Okay then. Got a lot of stairs in this house. Oh, you'll get used to them. Yeah, I doubt it. This is the kitchen. Laid here, titanium. We'll pierce the most Kevlar, very fast and light weapon. Burner phone here in case you need to contact anyone within the agency. Car in the garage for transportation. You'll need that for emergencies. You don't say. Now let's go back. I swear I'm not gonna miss this job. Oh. Do you like it? Mr. Reiser thought this place would suit you well. well whatever Mr. Reiser wants. Hey. It's pretty open, don't you think? What was that, Mr. Rome? Open, land, lots of space, lots of different ways that people could get in here. I mean, look, for all we know, there could be snipers out in these damn trees. No, I assure you, we've taken all precautions. Nobody knows that the Bowers are here. Well, let's hope not. Wait, the Bowers? That's their name. Indeed it is. Would you like to meet them? Yeah, okay. that would be nice. Come on. Actually, where are you hiding them? You got them under lock and key in one of these overlooked tower rooms? Because, you know, that's where I would be hiding them. <laughs> no. No, nothing so torturous. They're out by the pool. Wait, what? Yeah, come on. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. You just let them go for a damn swim out in the open by themselves? Yeah. Lady, do you know who you're dealing with here? I assure you, we have taken all precautions. Nobody knows that they are here. Oh, those, those, these cats, the Fatellis, right? They find them. They're going to decorate their next Christmas tree with their heads. as cute little ornaments. You get what I'm saying? I do, and that is precisely why Mr. Reiser wanted you on this job. Now, would you like to meet Mr. Ray Bauer and Mrs. Camila Bauer? Come on. Sure. Let's meet the Bowers. Unbelievable. Is it gonna rain? It might. Oh, this is rich. Oh. Mickey Rome, I take it? Uh, thank you so much for being here. You're not the sharpest tool in the shed, are you? I, I beg your pardon? Whose idea was it to steal eight million dollars from one of the most ruthless families in the world, huh? Tell me, whose brilliant idea was that? Well, 
It was mine. There you go. Go figure. Should we be talking about this right now? Oh, I'm not the one hiding from contract killers, having a nice leisurely swim, giving the monkeys a goddamn view. I, I told my husband to take the money because it was being used for horrible things. News flashed. All money is, lady. So, why let men like that keep it when we could take it and better our own lives? Because you'd be dead before you could spend a penny of it. And besides, you're turning state's evidence. You gotta give all that money back anyway. I don't think so. Oh, yeah, how's that? Well, we've cut a deal. I turn over their book of accounts and contacts, and we get to keep the money. You know, did God just deal me a shit hand in the poker game of life? Is that what's happening right now? Unbelievable! Rock! You said he was the best? He has the best protection rate, and our agency has the best intel. Don't worry about Mr. Rome and his abrasive personality. He will make sure you two live for the next few days until we can get you transported back to stateside. And what if we change our minds? You have a retainer with us, Mr. Bauer. You have our protection until that retainer runs out or until you refill it. I understand. <laughs> Are you sure that this place is secure? In your entire tenure for working for us, Mr. Rome, yeah. it is the most secure we have ever had, for it is off the grid. Otherwise, we would not call it a safe house, would we? Shall we go inside? Show me where the beer is. I shall next be in contact when we're ready to transfer you over to the FBI. Thank you. Yes, we're very grateful. No need for thanks. You paid us well. This is what our agency does. Bye for now. What does the dynamic duo want? Well, I, I'd say a conversation, Mr. Rome. Look, the next time someone calls me Mr. Rome, I'm gonna go into that closet, I'm gonna grab a baseball bat, come back, smash somebody across the face with it. Just do me a favor, just call me Mickey. All right, all right. Um, so where do we go from here, Mickey? All right, look. Nobody leaves this house. Nobody leaves my sight. If you see something suspicious, you tell me. If the neighbor's dog takes a shit and it doesn't look right, I want to know about it. You have a real way of talking to people, don't you? Is she always like this? You know what? You got a real way of getting yourself into trouble. Is this what we should expect for the next few days? What? That you're going to make us feel like we constantly have to apologize for taking the money? Stealing! Lady, you stole the money! Well, well, quite frankly, they stole it before we did. How do you know that? I saw all the deals that were accounted for. Heroin shipments, cocaine, pickups, anything that had a dollar value, I had to account for it. Okay, we need to get something straight, Mickey. We paid a huge chunk of cash to have you here. Yeah. And I'm a bit shocked they didn't send more. What is that supposed to mean? I think we thought that they'd send somebody a bit, um, younger is all, right? Yep. Yeah. Bottom line is you're our employee. So if we want to go on a walk on the beach, we will. If we want to go lounge in the sun, we will. If we want to go into town, you are going to be by our side with your eyes open and your ears constantly listening. Do we understand each other? I understand that I need to make a phone call. It's, it's okay. He's been drinking. He's a little angry. Riser speaking. Get me out of here, Carl. This is bullshit. Mickey, calm down. No, no, no. You got me protecting two entitled kids who have no idea what the, the trouble they got themselves into. Just sit on them. Just relax. Sit on them for 72 hours. I know you at least can do that. You got me trying to protect Fort Knox, for Christ's sake. This place is bigger than the Bermuda Triangle. 
you're mixing your metaphors again. Mickey, is it Fort Knox or is it the Bermuda Triangle? Regardless, I, I'm a little hurt, because honestly, I thought you would like that. Oh, it's nice, sure. But I have a hard time doing my job knowing that the goddamn toucans can get in this place. I, I completely side with you if it were a problem, but it's not a problem, you see? There is nothing to worry about. I hear you. If there were something to worry about, I would completely understand. But there's not. There's nothing to worry about. Everybody keeps saying that. Do you know something that I don't? The feds are occupying the Fratellis, OK? There's taps on all of their colleagues' phones. If the wind so much as blows in this direction, we'll know it if you catch my drip. Yeah. Just kick back, would you? Let the married couple do their thing. You go through the paces and try to relax and enjoy the sunshine. Fuck the sunshine. I'll call you tomorrow to check in. Fuck the sunshine. Mind some company? Look, I don't have anything left in the tank, okay? So just be easy on me. Is that such a good idea? I'll have you know I aim better when I'm under the influence. <laughs> I'm sorry. For what? I was rude earlier. I do understand we're in a bad situation. My mother was in really bad shape. She needed a heart transplant. They had only given her a few months to live. We had asked the doctors how we could get her name moved up. A few of them knew that my husband worked for the Fratellis. So they said that if we came back with a high enough number, they'd bump her to the top of the list. So he started embezzling funds. Just a few dollars here and there from hundreds of accounts. And he would cut the book, so they'd never find out. There were millions coming in. For three months we did this. I would just try to figure out where to hide the cash. The flower bed. My locker at the gym. Eventually we knew that they'd find out. So we prepared. And now here we are. And my mother, she lived. So it was worth it, Mickey. You may only have postponed your mother's death. Now well, she's safe. Safer than us. Agency protecting her too? No. The hospital really stuck it to you, huh? No, everyone just looks out for themselves in this world. They find something to leverage and they play their cards. Some win, some lose. Yeah. I've always hated hospitals.
Mr. Ron. Do you have many friends? I don't mean the question in a mean way. I mean to ask because your job must make you lonely. You know, protecting other people for hours, days, nights. Like tonight. Must take you away from people you love. So, I was thinking maybe you aren't close to too many people. I understand someone like me might just be a job and that you probably have had to protect a lot of defenseless people with rich parents or husbands or whatever. But I just want to say thank you for being here. Boss, ain't a bit late? Oh, people are trying to sleep here. Special, when you gonna get a big boy's gun? Rich, let's go, you asshole! Gotta go. Who was she? She's a client, just like you. Did she live? Yeah, she did. Hey. What'd I miss? 
<clears throat> Your wife was explaining to me why you all stole the money. Oh. Look, I'll try not to be an asshole, okay? But I make no promises. How did you become their accountant anyway? My father, he, he worked for them. In what capacity? Same thing. I was raised being told this was the family business. Yeah. Some Sopranos type bullshit. Eight million dollars. What? It wasn't actually eight million. It was 23 million. What? Do the feds know this? No. The only actual traceable money is the eight million. Traceable? As in what the Vertellis might notice. How does 15 million dollars go unnoticed? I found an account. It wasn't listed on any of the ledgers. It was just there. So I took a look at deposit schedules, pass withdrawals, everything. No one associated with the family had anything to do with that account. So at first I siphoned off a few hundred thousand just to see if there were any red flags. Nothing. Then a million. Not a peep. So one day I just brought it up in water cooler talk type fashion. No one knew anything about that account. So when Camilla and I set up our plan, it was the mother load. That was our nest egg. If they weren't gonna let us keep our eight million, at least we had the rest to fall back on. I guess like someone said, when you have leverage, you play those cards. Two should go to bed. I gotta spend the rest of the night watching two cans of monkeys fucking the trees. Good night, Mickey. Yeah. Thank you. Do you have many friends? I don't mean the question in a mean way. I mean to ask because your work must be lonely. You aren't close to many people. What time is it? It's eight. Ray and I want to go to the beach today. Wonderful. That's a safe place to go. Are you coming? Fine. Thank you. Let's go to the beach. Hot, hot, hot. Ooh. I'm up. That's hot. It's like you two are on vacation. It's insane. No, not quite. I heard you were the scared one. Scared? Yeah. Not for me. Camilla. See, I don't care what happens to me. I couldn't live with myself if anything happened to her. Well, to love, it can be a bitch. Yeah. 
So were you ever married, Mickey? Once. What? You want me to elaborate on that? Yeah, why not? We're not friends, okay? This is a job. Why don't you people understand that? Look, women want one thing one day, and then another day they want something else. And? I had a wife. Okay, and she wanted to have kids, so we had one. I wasn't in his profession then. I was a cop. I was working all sorts of crazy hours. I was never really home much. I'm sure that had to be tough. That was hard enough. So I take it you two aren't still together. So then what happened? You're a persistent little prick, aren't you? Yeah, my wife's been known to say the same thing. Yeah. Well, like I said, long hours. You know, for five years, all she had was that kid. She had to take care of it all by herself. I'd come home late in the mornings and I would stare at her in a crib, like in a blink of an eye. It's, she's sleeping in a little bed. I try to get home early from work just to rock her to sleep, but being a cop, it's rare. But my wife, she couldn't handle it, so she took to the pills first and the booze. I came home one night after busting this big case. Wine, flowers, a whole nine yards, right? Found her dead on the floor. Overdose. I go to look for my kid. She's dead in the tub. Wife drowned her door in bath time. She used to have this yellow ducky that she fucking loved so much, and it was just floating there with a goddamn smile stretched across its face. Mickey, I'm, uh, I'm so sorry, man. Yeah, well, don't be. Life throws you curveballs, and to be a son of a bitch, all you can do is try and hit him. That's it for story time. Are we safe, Ray? Yeah, I think so. Do you trust him? Mickey? Yeah, I think I do. I don't know who to trust anymore. Why are you feeling this way? Just the more that Mickey keeps going on about these people, the more I feel like maybe this is just too easy. And that's why we paid what we did. For this protection. For his protection. I don't have a good feeling about any of this. Listen to me. Everything is going to be okay. I promise. We will turn in state to evidence and we will make sure that the fatalities are put away. And then, we will disappear. You make it sound so simple. I actually think it's going to be a lot harder than we thought. Then we will face it. Together. Mm -hmm. Get a room! Jesus! <laughs> Is it so wrong to hate the fact that he's starting to grow on me? Me too. He's got a lot of baggage, Kim. Yeah, what gave it away? Well, I'm serious. I spent a little time with him. You know, he comes off as incapable, but... I think he's way more capable than you know. I won't doubt that, though.
Hey, stay here. Don't move. What are you doing here, Polly? Is there any other reason than the best to make me pretty fucking uneasy? Yeah, well, the call you made to Riser made him a little bit hesitant that you could handle this thing. Hesitant? I've never quit a job in my life, even you know that. Oh, uh, yeah, well, we all slip up sometimes, don't we? You see, Mickey, wrong. It doesn't slip up. But... How the love lovebirds doing? Fine. What about you? You okay? What's with the small talk? Just trying to be friendly, Mick. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got a friendly bone in your body. Well, since we're gonna be working together now, I figured I'd try to keep you cordial. Working together? Nobody told me anything about that. No? Well, maybe you should call Deacon and Rise. I'll tell you what, let me call for you. Yeah. It's me. Uh -huh. Yeah, he's right in front of me. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Mickey, I see Polly found you. Yeah, he's staring at me like a hawk stares at a rabbit. Cute. Is there anything I should know about? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to worry about. Carl just thought you might need a little extra set of hands, just in case. Paulie's gonna be around, just, you know, if it gets to that point where you can't take it, that's all. Well, if it's okay with you, I'd like him not to stay at the McMansion. He gives me the heebie-jeebies. You got anything worthwhile to contribute yet? Fuck you. Fuck! Fuck! <coughs> Paulie's gonna be around. Listen, Mickey, I know you don't like him. But he's effective and he's efficient. He used to say that about me a time or two ago. Just play nice, Mickey. I'll see you when you get back. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Everything go good? Peachy. Fantastic. Nothing to me should happen. Call me right away. I know that Lori probably my number into his phone. Hey, Mick. Careful out there. Never know who you can run into. Hey. Who was that, Mickey? They sent another one. Another... A specialist, like me. Why would they do that? Because they don't think I got it in me no more, all right? Grab your shit. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come, on. Hey. come on. Come on. Come on. Good afternoon, Mickey. What's so good about it? Well, we're still alive, right? <laughs> For now. Sorry. Bad joke, I guess. Yeah, what do you want? Can you take a walk? Sure. I'm gonna do my rounds anyway. So I have a question. You have a million. Did you always run protection gigs? No. Why? I know your company does other things as well. Yeah, it's a business. All of it. 
So, did you do, did you do other things with them? Or other things entirely different? Where are you going with this? I, I just want to know how your business works. Why? Why do you even care? Why did they send another protection agent? Because I'm getting fucking old, okay? That's why. Is that what you want to hear? Old for this type of occupation? It... Yeah. I mean, most guys, they retire around 40. Just too many blows to the head, too many scars. We're just, we're human, right? That's why they sent the asshole as an insurance policy. Insurance policy? Yeah. If something goes wrong, they got somebody close by. Well, that doesn't make sense. One minute it does, the next minute it doesn't. Yeah, but... Why Paulie, you know? That's what I don't understand. Yeah, about that guy. You know, the one we saw at the beach today? What's wrong with him? He doesn't work in protection. Well, then what's he do? He works in collections. Remember I told you that I did something before I worked in the protection department? Yeah? I worked in collections. Are you calling because you missed me or are you giving me the thumbs up? Yes, to which part? What if he doesn't have it? Look, Carl, I'm not in the business of killing people. Yeah, got it. Excuse me, miss. Let me get a bottle of your best champagne, please. Best champagne? You having a spendy afternoon, are you? Which one of the girls are you showing a good time to? Oh, it's not for any of the girls. It's my friend over there. Oh, you friends with Maddie? Best friends. Bottle of Dom coming right up then. There you go. Ah, thank you. No need for glasses. Not gonna need it. Oh, do me a favor. Put on Maddie's tab. My man, how you doing? Do I know you, man? Nope. You actually do not. Okay, well, why the fuck are you interrupting a conversation between me and my man here? Bruiser. Long time no see. Mickey Rome. Thought I smelled shit when I walked in here. <laughs> <laughs> because you're the one who usually steps in it. How's unemployment treating you these days? Do I look unemployed to you? Mm. Let's take a look at you. Eh, maybe not. But this guy looks like he shops at the bargain bin, huh? What were the deals last week? Three suits for $99.99? Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> All is with the comedy, huh, Mickey? Mm. Get the fuck out of here. I'm afraid I can't do that. You see, I'm here for a reason, and that reason you're really not gonna like, and that bruiser here can probably guess. Mickey, I ain't gonna ask you twice. You gotta give a fuck about that reason. Actually, I think you should. My name is Mickey, I'm here on behalf of Carl Reisner. You know who I'm talking about. Take a hike, Mickey. Yeah, I know who he is. So what's this about? All right, good. See, progress. You borrowed money a while ago to open up this miraculous establishment. It's seedy as fuck. Anyway, you never paid it back. So, today, I'm here to collect the bill in full. It's <laughs> 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 fucking payday for everybody, huh? I knew I recognized this guy. He's a fucking comedian. <laughs> right. I'm gonna get that money. <laughs> You're gonna get it. Yeah, yeah. Razor, you do me a favor? Yes, sir. Would you make it so Princess here sips out of a straw for the rest of his fucking life? It'd be my pleasure. Bad idea. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
from being a cop to collecting money to beating the shit out of people to protecting people who couldn't protect themselves. The real world we live in, man. Like I said, curveballs. We ever had in my ass. Mr. Rome, I just wanted to see how things are and if everything's okay. No, Lori, things are not okay. We need to leave right now. Where are the Bowers? I have them upstairs under lock and key. Fantastic. <laughs>
Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, shit. What do we do, Mickey? Tell us what we need to do. Polly. Oh, Polly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Call Polly. Stay with him. Stay right there. I'll be right back, okay? I'll be right back. I'm sorry, Mickey. I'm so sorry. Polly, Polly, Polly. Mickey. No, this isn't Mickey. It's Ray Bauer. Oh, hello, Mr. Bauer. How can I help you tonight? A woman, she came to kill us. We've met her before. But Mickey, he, he's hurt real bad. How bad? Very. All right, listen. You lock all the doors right now and stay put. I'll be right there. In the meantime, try to get Mickey comfortable. All right. What happened to the liaison? Oh, oh, Mickey, uh, he killed her. She's, she's dead. All right. I'll be right there. Okay. On the phone, you knew she was our liaison. I did. How did you know that? Mickey told me. Said she'd be stopping by today at some point. No. Yeah. He never would have said that. Why's that? He didn't know she was coming by. Yeah. And he doesn't trust you. Come on, Mr. Bauer. Why would he tell you to call me? Get together, Mr. Bauer. Okay? We have to get out of here. Where's the other bedroom? This way. Perfect. safely. Where is my husband? Oh, Ray. He's in the other room. Don't worry about Mickey. Someone's gonna take care of him, okay? Let's go. Ray? Ray! They said no guns. <laughs> <laughs>
It's almost over. Huh. I'll tell you what. Yeah, I'll give you one more selfless act. Tell me where the money is. And I will make sure that I kill your husband quick. <sighs> What do you consider quick, huh? Fratellis, the agency, they use the Mickey. Probably sent me down here to get me whacked too, so I have to pay my pension. So what do we do now, Mickey? Always with the questions with you, huh? <laughs> Tell you what you do. Yeah, you have that money, right? Take your mother, you vanish. New names, you get off the grid. It's gonna be your only shot. I know a guy, pay him well. He'll make you disappear. And what about you? Consider me retired. Oh, Ray. Yeah. I'm gonna need something from you. Yeah, anything. It's been a week. All right, four day. Don't get fucking cute with me. This shit does not happen in this business. You understand? It gives us a bad name. It makes us look bad. How the hell should I know? Fine. He's probably lying in a ditch somewhere. He's drunk. Probably doesn't even know what's happening. Find the, find the, would you just shut up for one? Find the couple and find him. And when you do find him, you put a bullet in his fucking head. Fuck! Hey, Mickey. Here, I thought we were friends, Carl. Don't act fucking surprised. You know it is business. You know the kind of people we work with. No, I didn't. I thought we were doing good most of the time, you know? Protecting people. Really? I mean, I know you ran collections every now and then, but I never put two and two together. I didn't know you did collections for the Fratellis. I mean, I'm smart, but that one got by me. You know they're gonna come after you. You know they won't let you live. I don't think they have much of a choice. See, a friend of mine gave me this little black book, and it has all these names, dates, transactions, pretty much everything. Had he paid attention to those names, he would have found yours in there, but he didn't care about that, did he? All he cared about was keeping himself and his wife alive. Anyway, I gave that book to the feds. So I say, your friends, the Fratellis, I say they're getting picked up right about now, along with their associates. Only a matter of time before they come knocking on your door, Carl. 
So what do we do now? I told you. Last job and I'm done. It was almost paradise, Carl. Right down to the goddamn coconut. Like getting shot in the pool? Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Bauer. Do you like getting shot in the pool? Yeah, right in the fucking head. So I'm gonna be like, uh, and that's when you. Uh, which line is this? Oh, we talk about this. Oh. Nice, nice buddy. You all right? Be the nostril shot. Yes. <laughs> Still hear some kind of fan running if anyone's nearby. Definitely a fan. There is definitely a fan. Is this beard new? What the fuck? Hey, you know what happened? I went, to, I got a proctology exam. Yeah. It's a better time than I'm having right now. Is it? Absolutely. I'd rather have my ass checked out every day than to walk into you. And yet, here you are, right here, holding on to me. Still. You'd rather have your ass checked out every day. Every day, with a cattle prod. By? Everyone. By everyone. The world. All day long. Every day. I love you. Oh, it's so good to see you, man. Get off of me. How many acts? How many motorcycle accidents are there a year? A day. How many motorcycle accidents are there in a day? A lot. I bet you a lot. Why is everybody on their cell phones? They should be working. Making some money. Jesus Christ. Is it clean water here? You got clean water, right? This isn't a smooth ride. Jesus Christ. I have a neck, you know. Hope what we ever have in the back isn't breakable because something broke. Not my fault. My hemorrhoids just popped out. How much further do we got? Why do I feel like I'm talking to myself? Because I am talking to myself. Take one more. Where'd that wind come from? Action! <laughs> Sorry, no, I forgot, I forgot to find They're gonna decorate their next Christmas tree. What? What? Is that gunshot? What is that? Did you hear that? Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Bauer. Do you like getting shot in a pool? Yes.
I think you should take the medication. Just give me the goddamn pills. Don't touch me. I hate you. <laughs>